hello well you can all blame uh brian for this one of uh caves of cud um it's his fault you, you go and no don't 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 but anyway um he, he gave me a new obsession um the, the, the dude cannot not tweet about the game and i my my curiosity peaked and uh then uh i had to try it and um brian was very nice enough to show me how to play the game properly and uh i kept like waiting for the wall of like i i kind of want to do a series but i don't know if i'm actually gonna like this long term and every time i came back to it and played a couple like an hour or two i was like uh, this is really good. I'm really enjoying this and I would probably enjoy a series whether or not you will enjoy a series will be completely up to you um, But if you want to see, you know, Battletech stuff for me definitely uh, Consider supporting the series by just like either watching it or hitting the likes occasionally uh, or commenting to feed the algorithm beasts but either way, um, this will be my Battletech uh, series. I'm going to set a few ground rules just right away. I haven't beaten the game, but I've gotten uh, a fair portion into it, and I've enjoyed it uh, so far. Um, I will put in a tentative, there may be a lose condition in which the series ends with just me failing. Um, it's a little bit of an XCOM-y kind of game in that sense. There is a campaign and a story, and you probably meant to finish it, um, but at a certain point if I find I am just like not equipped or I don't know how to progress Then I have to put in a lose condition uh, Secondly, this is a game where you can just lose characters and they are just gone uh, As well as mechs and stuff uh, Though I will be doing a little bit of save scumming I would like to set some ground rules to that regard if I lose my main mech Which will be the blackjack as well as my main character, which we will be creating um, at the you know conception of the career um then i will be restarting the mission that doesn't mean to say that if things look bad i will throw them into the fire i will always try my best to keep them going um but you know if i lose a few people and still succeed in the mission but uh you know and i and i keep my main character then i will be progressing and trying to pull myself out of the weeds you know pull myself out of the fire so those are the ground rules um, regarding character death, uh, as well as like I have a, um, you know, maybe a safety net in case thing, the series isn't going well. And of course, if it performs horribly, well, there is always that. But um, I can see myself playing through this regardless. With all of that out of the way, I don't like to spend too long uh, on these things. Let's, we're going to be starting a new campaign. We'll um, probably watch the beginning cutscene because it is quite good. Uh, they're, they're, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit later. Um, but loading, loading in this game is, uh, pretty, pretty high maintenance. I might, uh, honestly do some pause breaks occasionally because there are going to be times where it's like I'm loading into a mission and, uh, it's just taking forever. Am I buying time right now? Yes. So let's go ahead and do a pause. Um, I'll see you soon. Serrano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadea, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne 
It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. All right. Um, I think we're going to be going into character creation in a second. The Oregon, Oregon Reach is a small kingdom in the Rinward, Rimward periphery, a region of space that lies in the outskirts of the more densely colonized inner sphere. It is home to the Oregon Coalition, a federation organized around a parallel. Uh, parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family for three generations under the rule of House Arano in Oregon coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery and it is here your story begins um, so I'm gonna be going deep periphery this I don't know I don't know uh, if there's like a contentious or a divis divisive uh, nature of the Battletech community I'm very much new to this uh, to Battletech um, if you if you are new to Battletech, um, you know do know that there is a very rich, uh, like what are, what are we at now? Forty years of lore and gameplay, uh, table uh, tabletop, you know, kind of gameplay built up over uh, a long course, and um, so there might be like strong feelings regarding some things and not others. I like the deep periphery as a background for my character because it's kind of a neutral ground and I appreciate the kind of like mountain blade aspect of it if, of like, you know, you come from like nothing um, and, uh, you know, ha make an impact in the world. Through, though immigrants to the Oregon Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de, de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family's titles, an ancestral battle mech, an old blackjack BJ-1. This is where you met Raju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the success, succession wars, um, whom your parents hired on for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Um, Raju is a strict, uh, was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. Um, I kind of like the idea of uh, you were exiled, and also gunnery and tactics is great. Um, that's like those are my those are my two best buds. Your family was betrayed. It's gunnery and guts, piloting and guts, tactics and guts. Guts is health, basically. Um, piloting and tactics isn't bad. Now I like gunnery and, and tactics. I also like the idea of being exiled. You stole away with the family's ancestral blackjack and set off to find a new life to call your own. It's a it's a morally gray origin, which I kind of I kind of like. Um, out on your own, you fell into the life of a Oregon Co Coalition uh, soldier, frontier pirate, Solaris gladiator. It's kind of fun. Gunnery, um, inner sphere mercenary is tactics is good you're gonna see um a, a theme for me i i tend to um favor tactics and i'll talk about why soon enough so let's go with mercenary it's a still morally gray but it's a little bit more neutral politically speaking pure chance brought you back to the oregon reach as you your mercenary crew took an ill-fated contract against the enclave of pirates on the outskirts of oregon space the job went south, and you were the only survivor of your unit. Raju's lance happened to be on patrol nearby. After rescuing you and helping you to honor your fallen comrades, he offered you a job in the House of Rano Royal Guard. So it is uh, uh, that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard on, uh, duty on the coronation day of the la Lady Camilla Arano. Um, I am going to be reading. There's not a lot of reading, and there's going to be a lot of... Um, portions of the series where there's no story progression so we're going to take take it like we're, we're not going to take it for granted i guess is what i really want to say 
Um, I actually quite like the story of uh, Battletech. Um, I think it's it's pretty fun. Um, is it incredibly deep? I don't I don't know. I I'm really not a in any way um, uh, uh, a, a a like I, I don't know the, the world all that much. I know some mechs. I know me some mech stuff, um, but it's it's not my my place. Uh, mech warrior call sign. Um, so I think I, yeah, Lumberjack Kite. This is uh, what people will end up calling me more often than anything. So we're just going to go with Big Simple. Sorry, I'm, I'm very um, boring in that sense. We'll randomize Fl Florencia Beard. We'll have to give ourselves a beard if we're going to. We, we're working with she, kind of like they. Um, not uh, That's not my preferred pronoun, but I like it. First of all, that it is an option, and second of all, I like it um, as a, uh, a like it, as a character that I am playing. I, I think that it's a it's a good option. Um, it's a little you know it's, it's an interesting flavor. I appreciate it. Not to diminutize it as a flavor, but you know, kind of like this. You it wouldn't they wouldn't be called uh, beard if not for their majestic beard. Can we customize that beard? We can. Um, huh, interesting. Um, how would one change hair roots? There we go. I'm okay, gonna change the beard. Green beard. Kind of like, uh, we could go like a pink beard. I kind of like that, actually. There we go. It is June. All right, let's do that. I like this. Hi Lord uh, Tamati Arano the second is dead. The organ reach is left at an uncertain uh, crossroads. Once preposterous, it is now a kingdom in decline. Prosperous, sorry. Uh, surrounded by powerful regions, legions. So, uh, Lord Santiago es uh, Espinosa, brother-in-law to the High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving council of founding houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would constrip their house guard something something. Uh, however, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Camilla Arano, Arano is determined to rebuild the Reach without transforming it into an authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his vehement plea to reconsider. On the morning of Lady Arano's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Mastiff Montgomery, makes pre preparations to escort her safely to the coronation process that awaits in Cordia City. Um, if you're not keeping up too quickly, I don't necessarily blame you. I was slightly overwhelmed, but what we have is a not quite feudal future, um, futurist kind of medieval-ish, uh, monarchy-ish, uh, landscape. It's cool. I like it. It's a, it's, it's got an interesting flavor. It's sort of like a, um, a cynical take on the future, but, uh, maybe an optimist's take on a cynical take on a future, if that makes sense. Uh, meaning humans have progressed to the point where they have conquered the galaxy and now they have not, not you know, nothing left to do uh, but wage war with each other. Classic, classic. Um, you know, so why are they waging war? Well, there's a monarchy. Of course there's a monarchy and there's different families and different houses and they're all at war with each other. They all have different ideas of what they want to do. And how do they war? Giant mechs. Perfect. Classic. Love it. Love it. Lo love that for them that they have these giant mechs and they love to just like smash them together like a, uh, you know, a, a, a small boy in the playground with the little, you know, crunch, crunch. You know, I love it. So, um, you know, giant mechs are fun. I like giant mechs a lot. Uh, I would say less so than other flavors, but I like them. I can, I can, I can definitely get into them. Um, this is going to be the tutorial, unfortunately. I thought I skipped the tutorial. Maybe I didn't. We're to rotating. I'm going to do my best to get through this as quickly as possible. Mastiff is going to be... like I'm going to be reading things. Don't I'll make no mistake. But also, um, for this tutorial, I'm going to try and skip through it as quickly as possible. Like I was saying, I can't prove so this is our Blackjack. We're gonna be getting used to this blackjack. Um, we're gonna be, we're gonna get to know it. It will eventually become a redundant um, piece of tech, but I appreciate it nonetheless. It's fun. It's a nice little little lad. 
um something i appreciate just in terms of your own player character is like this this mech this giant mech was an inheritance like this is my inheritance i mean in case in, in terms of my character that i've just built um it is actually stolen i i stole it and it was exiled from my family which is kind of cool um i i appreciate that we're gonna be doing a jump here check out that jump we uh i wonder why that was so slow i do have some settings turned on to make sure that um cinematic cameras oh let's do like not very often on cinematic cameras um sorry i'm gonna be playing with this for just a little second targeting shoulder camera sprint follow cam normal follow cam attack zoom this is fine um but i want to speed up timeline single player wait what is this what i want can you give me this, this setting will reduce the real world time it takes for a day to pass in battletech okay that's fine i don't mind that show ui during attacks that's actually um yeah we'll we'll leave that off uh, I might change these a little bit in the future, um, but uh, I wanted to make sure that fast animations were off Because I, I've actually uh, edited an itty in, oh, Wow, that's, that, that is bad. I've edited an any file to make sure that animations are as fast as possible um, Because uh, maybe a a complaint of this game and it is a very good um, You know way of playing and getting into uh, Battletech for sure um, but uh, it's a little slow. These animations, um, like I've, I've got them sped up, but if you don't speed them up, then you'll spend a lot of time watching your mech kind of clunk over to something and then like, you know, smash into it or, you know, launch their missiles and all that business. I really hope that that's not picking up too much. There's drilling going on and it's going to be going on for like months, so. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna do a sprint. Um, I will talk a little bit about at least how I understand how to play the game. Um, the game has a fairly limited tutorial. I would say it does an okay job, but it really doesn't tell, uh, teach you much fundamentals for how to build a mech, how to how to drive a mech, how to combat with a mech. Uh, you know, it doesn't teach you much of the nuance. Maybe this stuff is hidden in the game somewhere, um, but. I, I definitely found that I was overwhelmed and not doing very well and not really, you know, figuring things out too, uh, uh, too much. I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters and the wolves bay at every door while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Orana will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate!
Um, hello. <laughs> I don't know how badly that drilling is picking up, so I want to make sure that you don't hear it, at least through the cutscenes. But, um, yeah. I um I, I hope that um, I'm able to do a good job here. I wanted to talk also a little bit. I don't have any about um I don't have any of the DLC. I don't have any mods installed. Uh, I really this is a very plain bread vanilla playthrough of BattleTech, and uh, part of it is I want to gauge um you know uh, how successful this is going to be. And I mean, some of it relies on the first episode, but some of it's going to rely on like the five, fifth or sixth or seventh episode. And if like people are still watching it and still want more of it, um, I'd, you know, I, I'd like to do a lot of this game, but um, we'll see. And also like my, uh, my interest in games don't last necessarily forever. So maybe I'll do like a vanilla campaign and then we'll you know take a break and uh, see i'll, I'll kind of gauge from people what they want if they want more if they want less wait what's that smoke a guard post one of the small ones that dot the roads leading into the capital but the emergency bands being quiet all morning i haven't heard anything about any fire So we've got um, Mastiff, Kamiya, and me. It's me. Um, some sort of explosion. Looks recent too. Do you think it was an accident? No chance. You see those scorch marks on the rubble? That's laser fire. We need you to get you out of here, Kamiya, right now. Yes, I think you're right. There's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go to them. So, um, the, you know, long story short, Kamiya is the next to potentially take the throne of whatever the big, you know, the big, uh, faction is right now, and, or at least her family faction, which is fairly large, and, uh, people are dis disagree with her stance, and she disagrees with their stance, and that's the long and short of it, um, but, uh, today is her coronation day, so... Nothing will go wrong, right? As long as she gets core, it becomes the next whatever, and and then it's all good. It's all good. Then uh, we don't have to worry too much, right? I notice we don't have jump jets. I wonder if that's by design. But we're heading towards this um, zone. We just need to, uh, you know get to our these are uh, um supposed to be our allies and i i say supposed to be because uh spoiler alert they're not oh that was a dumb idea yeah hail mastiff uh hail lady arana we are we're preparing for lady arana's coronation parade when we got word of a disturbance along the cormorant uh road a guard post behind us was attacked suraju found evidence of laser fire is the road behind you clear Aye, all the way to the southern gate. Lead the way, Sir Raju. We'll file, fall in behind you and guard your six. Tell me something, guardsman. If the road is clear, why is your battle mech damaged? Our mechs are overdue for maintenance, but this that isn't important right now. We need to worry about Lady Arano's safety. Now, my lady, if you'll come with us. No, you're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech tech would have sent you out for, no, uh, for parade duty in that condition. I'm your sovereign, sir. Uh, you will tell me what happened here. Damn it, girl, we don't have time for this. Take them. Kill the old mech and the mech warrior, but take Lady Arano alive. Alright, here's here's our first scuffle, our first skirmish. So, um, this is how I like to play things, um, until I learn that and other ways are better. But I'm going to be making good use of, um, evasion to try and, um, basically make them miss their shots this is a pretty good spot although that doesn't build up a lot of evasion um she's got srms i guess um it's giving me that large donut hold on you'll see you'll see here so the way this works is you'll see there they have she has two ranges one is a uh, that large kind of um more opaque donut is um probably her lrms the lrms are long range missiles 
Um, outside of that, she's also got SRMs. The SRMs are short range missiles, makes sense. Um, and we can see if she goes here, she can only turn a certain amount, right? Depending on the direction that you're moving dictates um, the direction you're going to be facing. And you can only turn so much. Uh, once when you end your battle so we want her to move as far as possible mostly because it will help her accumulate as much sprint or evasion the evasion is indicated by the four chevrons next to the tree icon in the center here under sprint so four chevrons is pretty good we like four chevrons um so we're gonna move over to here I'm on my way. we're gonna build up some evasion um, my character has a good amount of evasion built up So we're gonna build up more that's gonna leave them I think with six Now they opted for coming in and punching punching basically means that evasion doesn't mean it doesn't do anything They don't your evasion bonus doesn't really do anything for you um, Whose turn is it? Oh, it's Mastiff's so Mastiff has two medium lasers and AC, uh, and those are auto cannons and LRMs. Um, so that means that he's gonna, like in order to make use of all of those weapons, um, he's gonna need like a middling to long distance between them. So I actually think that hitting this Shadowhawk, even though there's a Panther right next to him, well, we've got 60%, but you'll notice here that uh, my uh, have a better chance of hitting the Shadowhawk. The reason for that is because you'll notice here that this Panther has gained two evasion chevrons. So we're, we have a better chance of hitting the Shadowhawk and uh, not a terrible, awful chance for, of hitting with the LRMs. So I like this. This is pretty good. This is the first combat, so they're not going to throw anything too vicious at us. All right, so we've got Kamiya and um, the this is our initiative at the top. The, um, the initiative comes in the, the form of like many, many phases. Uh, and depending on how fast your mech is, will put you sooner, uh, like on a, on a sooner phase, which is like five and four, or a later phase, which is like, you know, th three, two and one. Um, and uh, there are the enemies chevrons will will appear up here and will want to take advantage of the fact that they've already moved and gone um so like you know we're, we're good to go now Kamea starts with a kentaro wow what a privileged little princess <laughs> um all right so we're gonna we're gonna jump in here and, and hit the shadow hawk up here we'll see um what we're aiming at and actually that movement was probably a misplay from my part i should have just like moved navigated to the front of them so that we can try and hit them in the front um, the reason being is that we can see their center torso here um, it being red indicates that uh, it doesn't have any armor and if something doesn't have armor then we're just hitting its systems and uh, potentially destroying the mech that's good if we're hitting it on the right side here then we have a high we're, we have a high chance of hitting their arm and leg but their arm and leg still has some armor we can see in the top how much armor they have like six armor each uh, or even potentially their left torso. Um, we can also potentially hit them in the back, and the back is usually not very armored. But in any case, we we see how much armor they have, and we can also see how much damage we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing, and we have a high, high chance of hitting with basically everything. Um, two medium lasers, which are 25 damage each, and six, are, uh, six SRMs, which are eight times six damage each and one lrm although the lrm is at an unoptimal distance here being so close is going to be four times five damage each so bottom line we're probably going to destroy it here um because that's just a lot of firepower and we did in fact well we didn't destroy it but we did break its arm off so that's good now the fact, uh, I, actually, is it, is it dead? I saw it fall over. I guess it is dead. I guess the pilot was incapacitated. <clears throat> so this is an AC-2. Is that a support weapon? I don't think it is. I think that it is just a, yeah, we don't have any support weapons. So doing a melee hit is not terrible. Um, but I think I'd rather hit it 
with our like main weapons going over here isn't bad we're, we're we're increasing our odds to like 50 55 but remember this guy's got um a little bit of evasion built up so you know we're, we're never gonna have a great chance of hitting him um that's not terrible oh, it did a big old rotate there i'm not sure why um we can also see like depending on where we go how many chevrons are actually next to the mech you'll see some like out outer um arrows that kind of gives us a good idea of like how many things we can hit with it our we're, we're not great right now like it doesn't like we don't have to optimize this fight we'll just like try and hit it that's fine we are hitting it in the rear though so that's kind of nice and we structure exposed um so we know that it, it one of the parts in the back is uh is missing its armor now which is good uh we want to find a good spot to hit it with mastiff this is a good spot also um every time you shoot on a mech it loses some of its evasion worth noting so yeah we can see well uh it would be better if we were on the other side of the mech because then we could hit its left arm but at the very least we're hitting um an exposed part of its rear so that's good that was a critical hit, lad. and we knocked it down not necessarily dead knocked down pilot injured okay well it would have been cool if i could have showed you um what what you can do with a knocked down mech but that's all right he's gonna punch me 50 damage is it's nothing you know, nothing to laugh at honestly Oh, we are, we are not in a position. Okay, so let's um, get here. That's a good distance. And yeah, uh, this will overheat us. Uh, heat is something we've got to manage. If, we're over, if we overheat, then the mech will start taking damage. Um, so we could do things like turn off some weapons like the LRM since they're already not, uh, you know, they don't have a great chance of hitting. We could turn off, uh, the lasers tend to generate a lot of heat. So let's turn off one of the lasers. We don't necessarily have to, you know, do that, but like, look, hey, we, we killed it while we turned off our weapons. So we were able to, you know, maintain our heat um, without, uh, uh, you know, sacrificing or compromising our, our firepower. Kamea, Kamea, can you hear me? We were just attacked. The Royal Guard, my own guardsmen tried to take me prisoner. It's happening here too. The Royal Guard are killing one another in the halls. Lord Carosa's a house guard just gunned down in front of me. The tourney pavilion is a slaughterhouse. I won't let these uh, s <laughs> seditionists or whoever they are steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can and find uh, and make a push on the capital. I'll take the throne by force if I must. Go to Rotura, uh, sorry, Rotorua township um, to the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rallying point. I hear, I heard Lord Decimus sent his uh, house guard there a few minutes ago. Everyone's there. Someone's there. Someone's here. I have to move. Rally what forces you can and meet me at the tourney grounds. Be safe. You heard him, Mastiff. Uh, Rotu Rotorua Township. We'll go there. Rally our fighters and march on the southern gate with an army at our back. Kamea, I know that you and Lord Madero are friends. Our friends but we can't take what he told you on faith right now we don't know who we can trust in this case we do alexander has been my closest friend and confident for as long as i can remember his loyal uh, loyalty is beyond question i trust him with my life and yours now take me to the armory as you command traitors in the guard and i fear this is only the beginning so when you're Outside of battle, something that's kind of nice is you can uh, move all your mechs at once. They can all kind of sprint together. We've got company. We've got some vehicles. Um, something we could do is uh, navigate around them. Talk to me. Let's uh, let's head around this like kind of plateau mountain here. They're going to be moving over here. Yeah, they'll take a shot, but they missed because of all that evasion I built up. Tell me what you need. So it's good. I, you know, I like to double down on evasion and, and if we can get to a high ground here, you know, uh, you know what, uh, Obi-Wan said. 
Don't try it. You know? God, I hate Star Wars. All right, so. Um, we're in a good position, but we could be in a better position. I mean, we could, you know, be in a position to actually take some shots on these vehicles. These are going to be, like, cheesy vehicles. They're not going to really have much to offer, but it's fine. Like, it, you know, like, we'll, we, we will be totally fine. Um, so let's, uh, move to, like, here so that we're not just completely exposed, and that way we can move and shoot on our next turn. Command, do you read me? It's uh, Espinosa, your uncle. Do you hear me? House Espinosa is usurping the throne. It can't be. My uncle, Victoria. Come here, I just watched an Espinosa battle mech plow through an alley full of civilians. This is happening, and it's happening now. Your loyal loyalists have fallen back to the market district. That's where we're making their stand. Um, that's what's left of the Royal Guard are doing their best, but there's something wrong with their battle mechs. What's that sound? Oh, gods. Oh, no. Alexander. No. Oh, God. Okay, well, um, we'll sprint forward with uh, simple. It's over, Kamea, your ascendancy, uh, ascendancy, the Arena legacy, all of it. Victoria, what have you done? You know, Kamea, for years I loved you like a sister, but then my father helped me see it. Your family's complacency, what's done to the reach. Our nation dwindles like a dying star, and how Serrano is to blame. My father offered you a path to glory. I'd have fought under your banner proudly, served as your strong right hand. It was like a knife in my heart when you turned him away. Damn it, Victoria, I taught you better than this. You taught me lies. Kamea, for the love that I once bore you, I'm going to give you a chance to surrender. I'll even spare the old man and his mech warrior if you stand down. Now. Uh, I don't want to see you hurt, but you cannot be allowed to rule. I'll see you hanged for this, Victoria. You and your father both. Do you hear me? You are traitors to the Reach, and I will fight you to the last. Then you truly are a fool. I'll spare you in spite of yourself, but you've cost your royal escort their lives. They're talking about me. I'm the royal escort. Attention, all Espinosa forces. This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions, and you will have me to deal with. Um, so we've got three mechs over there. A 20, a 40, and a 30. Um, that's... That's quite a bit. Um, what I'm going to do is move over here. Hopefully those vehicles over there won't be able to hit me, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to hit them pretty okay with the LRM-10. And we could potentially even split our shot here. Maybe, yeah, 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 we could split our shot. So we're going we're gonna to do a multi-target. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some, lob some uh, LRMs. Um, those are my long-range missiles, and then I'm gonna hit the Cicada with everything else. And that splits up very conveniently because I can't actually hit the Cicada with anything else uh, but my short-ish range, and I can't hit the vehicle with anything but my LRM, so it's a perfect multi-target as far as I'm concerned. And we actually killed that vehicle, so that's quite nice. Well, look at that, that was pretty good. Uh, right torso destroyed, right uh, arm destroyed. I think I actually broke its arm off with that. This is a this first mission is the equivalent of like, look at the cool mechs in this game. Don't you like these mechs? Wouldn't you like to continue using these mechs? Well, they're gone now. You can't have them actually, not unless you earn them. Okay, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna go here, and um, I'll be exposing my left arm a little bit by turning. I remember, if you're turning, then you're turning your body, and so um, different parts of your mech are gonna become exposed. But what I'd like to do is kind of, um, you know, accomplish multiple things at once. Again, I want to take out a vehicle and uh, split the rest of my shot onto this other mech. If I had some of my special abilities, like precision shot, I would be like hitting their arms and stuff, but that's fine. Uh, let's turn on everything. 
right now everything is just aimed at um i at the uh the scorpion we don't want that we want um i don't know i'll, I'll do like can i let's let's look at a can i look at a please it won't let me look at a bit of an interface problem there um i'm just gonna go ahead and hit uh, the scorpion with my lasers and then throw everything else at the cicada so we'll see how that plays out oh that's not that's not at all what i wanted i wanted the opposite of that oh well i also i blew off the left arm <laughs> we're too late So something is heading over to us. That beeping was uh, basically there's some mechs like in a area that we can't see. Where is that? I don't know where that is. There's some mechs in a place we couldn't see that were moving towards us. Okay, so we're going to move in. If you didn't uh, kind of uh, assume this already, but um, the forest is good for cover and stuff and we take less damage from uh, generally speaking. So I'm going to move in there with my blackjack and I don't have multi-hit because that is a uh, skill that we will earn over time and um, this cicada well it actually still has some weapons it's got its medium and its small laser the medium is the only thing that really matters but we could um, since this feels a little bit like overkill what we could do is um, start hitting something else instead the spider is a scout and so is the locust but um, let's see Medium, medium, SRM2, SRM2. I mean, I think two mediums are worth kind of focusing on. So I'm just going to go ahead and start smacking the, the spider and maybe we'll, uh, we'll break something off and reduce their firepower. Probably should have just aimed at the cicada to uh, take it out. Attention, citizens of Coromadir 6. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. With the unanimous support of the founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own protection, I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units stand down, and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Exist, and you will be fired upon. I love that horn. It's really like a very intimidating horn. Placed his faith in that man. I gave him my trust. Oh, punch me. Didn't I thought he was gonna punch me, but he missled me instead. I'm losing armor. I'm losing armor. Sorry. <laughs> really goofy. Okay, can uh, the Kentaro? Kamea has a ridiculously good mech. It kind of pisses me off, honestly. We are going to overheat. Um, I'll probably turn off some stuff. We can turn off one laser. That'll just barely take us to overheat, so we can do that. Um, so why don't we do like, I don't know one srm and the lrm for the uh striker you don't necessarily want to multi-hit often but i like to take advantage of it sometimes if if there's an enemy with like low health or if an enemy is like doesn't have a lot of weapons and there's something else that is has less armor but more firepower i'd like to you know split my shot a little bit Um, well, we don't there's not a lot left on the field. There is this um, locust. The locust has got a lot of evasion. So here, let's uh, let's see what a punch looks like. Oh, wow, I missed. I thought the oh, I guess it's only the cover that doesn't matter if you if you punch someone. I guess the evasion st is still counts. Okay, the Mastiff. Go ahead and hit something. I kind of want to just take out that cicada. 
Sukata has been allowed to live for too long. Time to die. Locusts, I mean, it's got some firepower, but it's locusts are basically scout to uh, mechs. That was a glancing blow. Um, okay, I'm struggling a little bit. I will struggle occasionally with the interface in this game. I won't lie. Occasionally. Um, how are, how is she doing for heat? Again, I think it would be just like not a terrible idea. God, that drilling is bad. Split our shot. Um, I actually think it'd be a better idea to just hit the, the locust. Um, and then like turn off our lasers And maybe the LRM Wow, she's really overheating Maybe it'd be a good idea to just brace And then cool down a bit Let's just do that Bracing basically like cuts your heat in half um, I'm just gonna like melee hit this thing Melee hitting the tanks are You know, just like watch Crunch. It's basically a free kill. Okay, I definitely want to hit this locust. That's not bad. And apparently the Centurion uh, or Mastiff has like a really decent uh, heat management. Kamea, do you read me? Alexander, thank the gods. I thought I'd lost you when the bombs fell. You very nearly did, Kamea. The city is lost. We have to get off this planet, and we need to do it now. I can't abandon Karma, dear. This is my home, my birthright. The battle's over, Kamea. Lord Merit Madeira has the right of it. It's time for you to run, escape from this madness, and live to restore the coalition another day. You're both right. My uncle is one. The reach is his. We'll mourn for it later, the both of us. For now, you need to move. I have a dropship waiting for at the Shepherd's Pass. I'm on my way there right now. Hurry and meet me there, please. We're on our way. You get to that ship, Alexander. I mean it. We will not lose you and my throne on the same day. Alright. Enemy turn. So there's still some vehicles. Oh, there's a scorpion, actually. I didn't realize that. Um, Kamea has still a little bit of heat, but not, not too bad. This is your last chance, cousin. Don't make me order your death. Do whatever you must, betrayer. A headstrong fool to the end. Damn me for this. Captain House, destroy them. Mastiff, my cousin, all of them. Leave no survivors. As you command, my lady. So this is a kind of a brutal fight. It's, this is like your introduction to the, the game in many ways. Um... We've got some turrets here. Um, the turrets are definitely something we're going to want to target. We've got some ground units. And I'm going to try and take out um, at least one ground unit and one turret. Uh, let me see here. Okay, okay, we can wrap around. So this thing's got 90 armor, but once its armor is punched, it's dead. There's like no question. Um... Uh, 8 times 6. My math is really bad, but that sounds like... No, it's not 36. That would be 48. Uh, 48 times 2. So, like, in theory, if I hit it with literally every single rocket, um, then that would um, destroy it, but I don't want to take that chance. How come A is not an option here? I guess because it's not close enough? Okay, well, we can hit it with the LRMs. That's not bad. Can we hit it with the lasers? No, not really. And we'll overheat if we use anything else. So we're going to use the LRMs on the laser turret. It's not a lot, but at least it's something. And, um... Kind of want to just throw everything else at the scorpion. Let's just, like, split this, this shot a little bit. This thing doesn't have a lot of armor. Um, in fact, its front is quite exposed with 15, so we'll probably kill it with just, like, a medium laser. Oh, probably not. It's, it's actually got some robust internals, but I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and split these. 
uh, split up what I've got left. We'll see how this goes. Well, that's not bad. Everything hit the turret, which is nice. That vehicle is destroyed. And that vehicle is destroyed. That's like the best you can hope for for a multi-hit is you destroy two things and damage a third thing. So that guy over there, I mean, um, they're overheating, but their evasion right now is insane. Um, so that's no good. Um, my, oh, okay. I can actually hit a turret. We definitely want to hear hit a turret. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot at that turret. I damaged already. I didn't think I would kill it, but I did hit it at least. Yeah, we're going to be hit. Those turrets are really nasty. The first time I played through this, I did not really prioritize and they just like continuously hit you and it hurts. Um, okay, so we can't really split our shots here. So I'm just going to go ahead and prioritize destroying this thing. Probably didn't need to hit it with everything, but I, you know, sometimes it's just good to make sure it dies. Okay, that was a nasty hit on Mastiff. Um, this Wolverine, I, they now that they've attacked, they have no evasion, so that's good. Um, so let's just start smacking it. We are gonna overheat pretty nasty here. We probably want to reduce that a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and reduce all of that. We could just go up and punch him, but I already moved. That's something I should uh, try not to do is move right away. But hey, we hit it pretty good and we didn't, uh, we, you know, we managed our heat. Uh, honestly, I think I'm going to destroy it right here. No, we didn't destroy it. Again, if, um, well... Yeah, we want to... Okay, this is a, a good opportunity. We are building quite a bit of heat. I'm going to go ahead and multi-hit again. Um, we're definitely going to throw our LRMs at that turret. And then I'm going to hit... Uh, throw everything else at the Wolverine. All weapons are go. Nice hits. That was decent. RA destroyed. That's the right arm. Right arm is gone. I do love, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate the kind of like physicality in this game. Like, you know, when you blow an arm off and you can see it kind of rolling away. Good Lord, that drilling really sucks. I, I apologize if it's really badly. Um, I kind of want to split things up again. I am in danger of overheating. Uh, we can do like one ma um, laser on the turret and then everything else. I'm on it. Yeah, that's not bad. I really should have should just like take out that turret. This uh, the Wolverine did a good job there. Like they kind of ran away a bit, but they also angled their left arm towards me. So um, that means like all of the rest of their armor was facing me. So unless I jumped to the other side of them, I wasn't going to be able to destroy them. But uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to die here no matter what. Actually, no, but we did break off that arm. Really should have taken out that turret, though. That was dumb. Okay, we're going to take out that turret right now. Because uh, we actually don't have to worry about the... Um, that's fine. Affirmative. We don't have to worry about the Wolverine because it, it has no weapons now. Target destroyed. It has no weapons, but it still can lunge at us. There's a few like Monty Python references in the achievements, and like one of them is like, you know, just a wound, just a just a wound, just a flesh wound. Okay, hold on. Um, I actually want to melee hit them because uh. Melee hitting doesn't generate any heat. In fact, you can it's a good way of bringing your heat back and we're able to destroy it while also cooling our 
our mech down. And uh, that's that. That's the combat done. We'll go ahead and move into our evac. Thank the gods you made it, Kamea. Uh, Captain Halvorsen's prepping the engines now. In another five minutes, we'll be ready to depart. Five minutes is a long time. Big simple. You see a lady around up to the docking ramp when she's aboard. Come back to me. We'll hold this pass against whatever comes. Thank you, Sir Rashu. Thank you both. I won't forget what you've done for me today. I promise you that. Oh, okay. So now we got to run to the dropship. So yes, here comes a dropship with a bunch of uh, reinforcements. Tons of mechs here. All units advance, I want you to take down that dropship. Destroy everyone and everything that stands in your way. Alright, big simple, I trained you for this. We'll fight side by side. Watch each other's backs. Above all else, we'll keep Lady Arano safe. Protect the dropship. It's all that matters. Warning, engine heat critical. Warning, error shutdown initiated. The reactor offline. Weapons offline. Systems inoperable. Trouble with your blackjack? Shame. That's been happening a lot to uh, a lot of Royal Guard battle mechs lately. You have numbers on us, and you've resorted to sabotage, and you're gloating about it. You've got no honor, you vicious little brat. Not you, nor your backstabbing father. Shut your mouth, old man. My father is a great man, and I'll swear to all the gods you will suffer if you insult him again. Your father is a coward, and so are you. Big Simple, I want you to eject now. Punch out. You're no good to anybody in a broken mech, and I won't let you die today. Eject now. That's an honor. Uh, order. Now come for me, Victoria. Your teacher is waiting. Come and show me what you've learned. Mission successful. No, Mastiff. Raju. Ah. Uh, drilling. No, not drilling. Good God. Oh, what a bummer. So yeah, uh, Mastiff stays behind. Um, there's a little moment or a quip in the tutorial where uh, he mentions, oh, your, your mech is not actually like up to speed, not like fully up to speed. There's a couple of things not working properly, but you should be fine. We're, we're just like escorting the, you know, the new queen to her coronation parade. Nothing, nothing, you know. We can't handle in a broken mech uh and it, actually it turns out your mech was sabotaged and so you get away but it looks like mastiff uh did not no I do really appreciate the cutscenes in this game. They're actually very well done. So yeah, it looks like Arano did not get away either. But you got away. And so the best you can really hope is that uh, you're able to, to do, I don't know, just kind of continue existing in this new um potentially totalitarian state galaxy what a bummer easy there Fl uh, florentia you took a nasty crack on the head when you punched out don't worry you're safe now my name is darius oliveira uh oliveira and i'm the exo of markham's marauders we're a mercenary outfit with ties to House Arano. We did some work for uh, High Lord Tamati back, uh, way back when. I'll introduce you to Commander Markham, but he was on a supply run in the Market District when the bombs fell. He, uh, well, he didn't make it. You rescued me, why? It seemed appropriate, given the circumstances. After seeing what happened to Markham, it didn't feel right leaving you in the hands of this new dictor uh, directorate. When we picked up your broadcast on the emergency band, we knew what we had to do. What about Mastiff, Sir Raju Montgomery? Did you find him? We found his mech. It was completely cored out. Nobody survives a hit, it like, a hit like that. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. We supported the Royal Guard on a handful of deployments, and Sir Raju earned my respect many times over. His death is a loss for us all. Were you able to recover my blackjack? 
Yeah, our mech tech hauled what's left of it into the mech bay. It isn't pretty, but if you give him enough time, Yang can fix just about anything. Try not to take the loss too hard. Yang said that your mech shows signs of deliberate sabotage. Whoever you had working on it really did a number on the reactor, punching out what was, was the right move. So what happens now? Well, things aren't looking so hot right around here. What with the coup and all, House Espinosa's directorate is the new de facto government of the Oregon Reach. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Lady Arano is dead. Her dropship was destroyed on takeoff. It's all over the news. Well, shit. Our sentiments exactly. We're getting the hell out of Oregon territory. I've already booked transport on the first jump, sh uh, jump ship out. We're heading to a nice quiet stretch of independent space all the way across the frontier on the Canopian border. Not a cheap trip, but we'll worry about how we're going to pay, uh, pay for it later. Now, according to the info on your blood chit, you've got family in the deep periphery. I'm afraid that's going to make getting you back there difficult. There aren't any, uh, many freighter captains who are willing to travel that far from the inner sphere. So, the way I see it, you've got a couple of options. You could stay with us for the long haul if you wanted. That's option A. When we get there, uh, where we're going, we can drop you at the nearest planet. Maybe you can make a place for yourself there. Of course, I'll need you to pitch in for your share of the fuel, plus food, lodging, and repairs on your mech. Fair is fair, after all. Alternatively, you could find a place for yourself in the Marauders if you wanted to. Wouldn't take you long to work off your debt, and you ran with Mastiff, so I know you've got chops. Think it over, sleep on it, you've had a hell of a day, and we've got a long road ahead. Three years later... So, um, that's pretty much going to do it for the first episode. I will probably run through whatever uh, other dialogue um, trees I have to to kind of bring us to uh, a good stopping point. Unless, is this, are they just going to throw me into the next mission? Prepping for combat? What do you mean? Oh, I remember, yeah. Okay, well, this is going to do it for the first episode anyway. I really hope that you enjoy this series. Um, and, uh, you know, if it's if mechs aren't your general cup of tea, I kind of hope that you try it anyway because um, this game surprised me. I I am like kind of 50 to 70 percent interested in mechs. I I think they can be they can be a lot of fun, um, but it's uh, BattleTech has never been something that I've been super into, uh, and I found myself really enjoying this game. So I hope that you'll give it a chance and uh, you know join me on the ride. But uh, in any case, I, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, definitely, if you want to support the series, hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. And uh, t yeah, take it easy. Have a good one. See ya.